Nothing happened. Maybe I need to press the stone harder. I will try again. <laughs> Still nothing. Jezebel, we're just wasting our time here. Let's go home. Besides, I'm getting hungry too. No, wait a minute. She doesn't look like a monster, so the rumors in Sidonia were wrong. Dad? I had dinner with Betty's father, Enrico. Oh, well, so... Do you have a new... business deal? <laughs> He's the one with the business proposal. He has a few requests. We can indulge him. Well, that's good. So it's a done deal then. Welcome to my home sweet home. My sweetest home. You are my 1,100th visitor. Excuse me if my lair is a bit messy. If you had told me you were coming today, I would have tied it up a bit. Please excuse my intrusion, Amafura. My name is... Jezebel? I would like to... Have legs. How did you... Did I know? You are amusing. You are no different from all the other mermaids. Aren't we all happy? And carefree creatures here under the sea? So why would you wish to have legs and go to a world where you aren't even worthy to be in the first place? Right? Their world is just cruel, chaotic, complicated, dangerous, savage, merciless. But who am I anyway to stop you? I'm sure I can find happiness in the world above. Foster a loving heart and be free. Can you grant me that one wish I most desire? <laughs> what do you think? But you have a role to play in this proposition. For our family to have a lasting partnership with their family. Fredo, you have to seal the deal. Yes, of course I can help you. I can grant you that one thing you most desire. If you would give me what I want in exchange. Hmm. Well, to be honest. You are beautiful, Jezebel. Of all the mermaids I have seen so far, you are the most beautiful. Really? I think I already know what I want to ask from you in exchange for the legs that I will grant you. Are you ready to make a deal? Yes, I am ready. Anything you want, as long as you grant me a pair of legs. That's how bad you want legs? For what? What is the reason? Let me guess. Have you fallen in love with 
a human being? Yes, Uncle Enrico. I will take care of your daughter. Okay. Okay. Bye. Sorry I took long. There was a long queue at the ladies' room. I see. <clears throat> As I was saying, I really enjoyed my vacation in the States. I was able to do so much. Like, um... Oh, I was able to watch a few musicals. And I had the chance to see a fashion show. What, what about you? Me? I heard, um... I heard you were at the beach house for some time. Yeah. So, aren't you going to tell me about your trip? Like what you did there? Did you go sailing? No, I just almost died. What? No way, what happened? I got into an accident. I fell off the boat. And I almost drowned. Oh. How did you survive? Someone rescued me. Really? Who? This is a magical necklace. That will give you the leg that you dream of. You still have time to change your mind about this. One, two, three. My mind is made up. I really want to be human. The, um, the fisherman. Right, the fisherman. Oh, well, okay. Well, baby, if you only listened to me when I told you to extend your stay with me in the States, that wouldn't have happened, right? Anyway, let's move on. Oh, you remember my friend Andrew? Mm. You know, my longtime friend? I saw him in the States, and then he told me that if ever I wanted to do modeling in the States, I have a good chance. Good. That magical necklace will give you a pair of human legs that you so badly wish to have. If you wear that necklace, your tail will magically disappear. Are you ready to turn your back on your life as a mermaid? If you're not entirely sure, this is your last chance to back out. One, two, three. Time is up. Finally, finally, at last! Another mermaid will wear the necklace. I will wait for the final signal. One, two, three. It's done. Jezebel! Mother? Bukunding? Puffy said you'd be here. That's why we came. Why do you still have a tail? Amafura didn't give you what you wished for? This magical necklace will give me my human legs. Jezebel, you mean you will leave the sea? You're leaving us for that human being? Mother, Fredo is not the only reason I am doing this. I want to find my mother too. Jezebel, my dear. I saw what happened to Lucia. She lived a miserable life on land. I am begging you, please, my child. Whatever it is that you're planning, don't do it. You might just end up suffering like your mother did. Mother, please forgive me, but I need to follow what my heart is telling me. Poor creatures who are weak in the face of love. Now is time for me to pull the plug. <laughs> we did it! <sighs> Perfect! <sighs> Jezebel, please don't leave us. Come back with me and Mother to Serenea. That is where you belong, not here on land. You know what? You seem awfully quiet. Is there a problem? No, there isn't. Life is great. Especially if 
You will accept this. Mother. Bukan ding. I consider you two as my family. If not for you, I wouldn't be here. Believe me, it's hard for me to leave Serenea. Because I love you both. But even if I am not in Serenea, you will be here in my heart. Please, I need to go to Fredo. And I hope I find my mother too. What is it? Open it. <sighs> wow, Fredo! Jessica, what if something bad happens to you? What if we don't see each other ever again? <laughs> Jezebel, if something bad happens to you, I will never be able to forgive myself. <laughs> Mother, please forgive me. I don't want to fail you. But I have made up my mind. I really want to be human now. I guess you know what that means, Betty. Yes, yes! <laughs> Thank you, yes! I will marry you. Jezebel. I am begging you, please. Don't do this anymore. Come home. Always remember us. And please come back. My child, please. Please. Jezebel, please don't do this to us. Please forgive me, Mother. Jezebel. No, Jessica. Jessica.
You have a huge scar on your face, Jezebel. Amafura took your beauty in exchange for your legs. No. My child, why did you allow Amafura to do this to you? But there is no other way, Mother. I knew it. I knew this would be the day. You knew I would be proposing tonight? Mm, well, I ran into your secretary at my favorite jeweler. And he told me that he was there to have a ring resized to my size. That alone gave you away. So I had the ring reset to the design I wanted. Jezebel, the more you can't stay there on land. If you look like that, humans won't be kind to you, Jezebel. They are different from us. I can be sure that they will only hurt you because of your appearance. No, Mother. I believe there is goodness in the hearts of human beings. I know that they won't hurt me because of my appearance. Jezebel! Please believe me. I have made up my mind. No wonder it looked different when I got it back today. But I think it looks better now. So when are we going to get married? I want to get married as soon as possible. No. I don't want us to hurry this. I want us to plan this properly. I want everything to be perfect. Don't worry, okay? I'll make sure everything will be perfect. Okay? Smile, honey. I'm okay. <laughs> I love this ring. You don't know what you're saying, Jezebel. I can't believe you would choose that human over me. Don't you love me anymore? That's not true. I love you, Mother. But I cannot deny what I am feeling forever. I need to listen to what my heart is saying. Jezebel. But what you're planning to do is very dangerous. What else can I say for you to listen to me and for you to stop what you're planning? This is wrong, Jezebel. What you want to do is suicide. Your Highness Queen Janga, there is something you need to know. What is it, Osaro? There is one of us who has disobeyed our laws. What do you mean, disobeyed? Mother, please forgive me. <laughs> one day, I am sure, we will see each other again. And you will get to meet Fredo, too. I am sure once you get to know him, you will like him very much. You don't know what you're talking about, Jezebel. There are people coming, Mother. We have to leave the surface now. We can't let them see us. We will get in trouble. Krills are gossiping by the corals. My men overheard them talking about something. They say a foolhardy mermaid has changed her form. And this mermaid became human. Became human? Jezebel, stop this. My child, that is not your world. Take that necklace off right now and come back home with us. Come here, Jezebel. I am sorry, Mother. I am not going back with you. I have to do this for myself. I have to find a man I love and my real mother. I need you to understand that. No, Jezebel. I can't leave you here alone. I won't let you risk your life. Please, my child. Mother, the humans are getting close. But we can't leave Jezebel. I'm sorry, Mother, but I won't go back with you to Serenea. Mother, let Jezebel be. I can't be. leave you here. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Jezebel, be careful. Let's go, Mother. Thank you, Bukhani. I love you, Mother. <laughs> so what happened? Did everything go as planned, son? I asked her to marry me. And she said yes. <laughs> good. Very good.
Jezebel is gone. She has abandoned us now. She chose that human over her life here in Serenaya. Please don't think like that. Greetings to you, humans. Wait, who said that? It smells fishy. Come on, we're late. Time flies by so fast. It seems like only yesterday when I took her here to Serenea. She was just a baby. I was her only world back then. But now? Now that she's all grown up, it's... It's just so easy for her to give up her family. <laughs> Jezebel loves you so much, Mother. But she also loves the human. Well done, my son. I'm really proud of you. You know that I will do anything and everything for the company, Dad. <laughs> Not just for the company, Fredo. It's also for Betty's father. You are the only one he can trust with his daughter, Betty, and his company. I don't like that human. He doesn't deserve Jezebel's love. I know he will only hurt her. People are evil, Bukandin. But Mother, what if Fredo is different? Fredo, don't worry. Your mom and I were like that. Our marriage was also arranged, but we fell in love. And it worked. I know that human won't give his heart to Jezebel. I am sure of it. Especially now. Now that her looks have changed. She shouldn't have given up her true identity for a mere human. He doesn't deserve someone like her. He won't be able to give her the happiness she seeks. Why didn't she listen to me? I am her mother. She should be with us. already. He didn't get to take a bath. But Aunt, there was a long line. I know there was nobody there. You just played again. Well, I had to pass the time or else I would be bored. How dare you answer back to me? You really just like your good-for-nothing mother. Mother, please, you have to eat. You haven't eaten since last night. Let me be for now, Bukhanding. Until now, I still can't believe that Jezebel didn't listen to me. I 
feel so hurt about what she did. What did your daughter do that hurt your feelings, Spanak? Uh, 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 nothing, Queen Janga. My son Bukanding and I were just talking. Where is your daughter? What? Why my mother? Leave my mother out of this. She didn't do anything. Because your mother's not here. She just left you without a word. How dare she? Aunt, that's not true. My mother left to support me and to help you. It's because of her that we get to survive every day. And you just get to relax and do nothing. What did you say? You dare defy me, you disrespectful oh. brat. You have the right oh. to talk to me oh. like that. You are so oh. horrible. You Please need to don't be taught hurt him. Take that and ah. back ah. until you learn your mouth and hurting him. Stop. She left early. She made a trip to the caves. She's looking for marine plants for our meal later on. Search all the caves. How uh. dare you? Uh. You're a bad human. Who said that? You're a bad human! A monster! A monster! There's a monster! A monster! I am not a monster! I'm a mermaid! Just pray that I don't find out that you're lying to me, Banak. I hope you are telling the truth. I have my eyes on you and your treacherous daughter. Jezebel, and who are you? My name is Boo Boy. Why is your face like that? Why? What is wrong with my face? Nothing really, it's just ugly. Like you? Ugly? Why was your mother hurting you, by the way? Did you do something bad? She's my aunt. She's not my mother. And I'm not a bad boy. I always do what she asks me. I think she's just angry because she has to take care of me. But why are you letting her do that to you? Not anymore. Where did you come from? It's like you appeared out of nowhere. I came from the sea because I am a mermaid. Whoa, really? There is news of a mermaid that has transformed into a human and left Serenea. Let's hope that mermaid isn't Jezebel. You're a mermaid? Are you sure you aren't just crazy? Crazy? What is crazy? Don't tell me you don't know that. By the way, thank you for rescuing me from my aunt a while ago. What did you say your name is? Jezebel. My name is Jezebel. Huh? Je... Jess... Je... 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 Jeez, your name's too complicated. Let's change it. Uh, what would it be? Isabel. Isabel! I will just call you that. Isabel! Isabel? Okay, I will be Isabel. <laughs> Whoa! Why are you naked? <clears throat> huh? Okay, that's better than being naked. Come on, hurry up before my aunt sees us. This hurry is really up. beautiful. Beautiful? You mean that dress? Ew. Come on. Wait for me. I still have a hard time walking. Why? Are you crippled? This is the first time I had legs. If you'd seen me under the ocean with my tail and all, I will show you. I can really go fast. Okay, 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 okay. Right away, right away. Bye. Hey, June. Good morning, sir. It seems you had a very long week. I did, but I had fun, sir. Let me ask you one thing. Do you still want to work for me? I do, sir. Are you sure? I am sure, sir. Let's talk later. Okay, sir. Are you really a mermaid? If 
you are, what are you doing here on land? I am looking for my mother. My birth mother. Oh. Uh, you're adopted? I didn't know mermaids adopted too. They told me that my mother was the queen of Serenea. But she chose to be a human being. Oh. Uh, like her, I want to be human. That's why I came here on land. So I could look for my mother and look for my prince. My prince, Fredo. Prince? A real prince? Yes. What kind of prince is he? He's a prince with a very gentle face. He's very handsome. He has beautiful eyes. He's simply the perfect human. My child has graduated already. Thank you very much for your help, sir. You're welcome. His face, his nose, his soft lips, and just thinking about him makes me weak in the tails. That's nice. Tell her to look for a job right away so she can help you. Tail? What tail? Do you mean knees? You mean you are getting weak in the knees? Feet? Knees? Waist? Shoulders? And a head? <laughs> uh, sir, I was hoping my daughter could work here in this company too, so I can watch over her. Albert, I think you're forgetting about our company's policy. Even if I wanted to help you, immediate family and relatives are not allowed to work together. Anyway, I'm sure she'll do great anywhere. She's smart. But she's my only daughter, sir. Believe me, Albert. She'll be better off on her own. That's right, I'm getting weak in the... Knees! Weak in the knees. You've got a thing for him. Uh, a thing? You know, you're in love with him. It's obvious. Your eyes are sparkling and you look so happy whenever you talk about this prince of yours. Good morning, What's that? sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, sir, this is your financial statement from last week. Here's your schedule for today. And here's your coffee for this morning. Anything else, sir? What's with the accent? Um, I just felt like it, sir. I'll be out of your way now. Thank you, sir. Send Lance in. And when you said his name, you already seem wasted. Wasted? Yeah. Wasted is like uh, being drunk. You know, that is one of the main reasons why I want to have legs so bad and to walk here on land. Because I know that he will make my dreams come true. Sir, sit down. Thank you. Well, sir, I'm really sorry, sir. Why are you still here? Didn't you get the memo? You should have been gone yesterday. He's my only love. And my prince charming. And that is Prince Fredo. Or maybe you just don't know how to read. As of yesterday, I would have supposed it was clear to you that you should have left. Because I fired you yesterday. I don't know who has been spreading gossip about me, but... was that? I think I have an idea where you can find this prince of yours. In the city. The city? That's right! The city? Yeah, and you know why? Why? Well, because... That's the place where many rich people live. Since you say he's a prince, then he must be rich. Say that again. So what you're implying is, the financial statement of the last quarter for 2007 is all a lie? So what did you think you embezzled from me? Candies? It's that worthless? Or maybe what you want me to do is call your secretary so she can come here on her knees while crying her eyes out as she relates everything that you did. Sir, please, please don't do that. That's embarrassing. You're fired. Sir. You're fired. Sir. Just leave. Sir, please. Go. Sir. Go! <laughs> really? I want to go there. I want to find my prince. Oh, it's not going to be easy. Why not? The city's far from here. But... That's where I'm headed. Hey, I want to go. I'll go with you. Come on, then. <laughs> Hurry up! Ah! So 
an arrow. Pretend that you're my mother. Your mother? Yes, and whatever I say, you just have to agree to it. And if someone asks us a question, always reply with a yes. Yes, son. Someone's coming. Turn right. Whoever that mermaid is, she will have to suffer the consequences. I have to find out who she is. But how will you find out who she is, Mother? There is only one creature in this kingdom who has the power to grant human legs. Amafura! Come here! <laughs> Sit there. Give me that ticket. You might lose because I paid for this. You're really a stowaway. Stowaway? Stowaway! Illegal! No payment! No ticket! Hitchhiker! Stowaway! I'm sure she will tell me who that treacherous mermaid is who went to her to ask to be transformed into a human. Osaro, get ready. We will go to Amafura's lair. Yes, Your Majesty. I will not rest until I find out who that treacherous mermaid is who chose to be a human. I will make sure she is punished. What's taking so long? When will we go underwater? Underwater? Isabel, this is a ship! If this goes underwater, everyone on board will die! Why is this thing so slow? The whale I ride on in Sirenea is faster. Well, sorry. Humans aren't crazy enough to ride whales. So, did you send the flowers to Carol? Carol? Oh, I didn't send it to Carol. I sent it to Candy. What did you say? I sent it to Candy. Candy? Yes, sir. Just relax. It's an overnight trip. We'll be in the city by morning. That's too long. I can't wait that long, Boo Boy. I instructed you to send it to Carol. How come you sent it to Candy? I'm, I'm really sorry because for the past three hours, all I've been doing is sending flowers to ten different women that I got so confused. Do you know what you did? What if... What if that psychotic woman thinks that I'm trying to get back together with her? What's wrong with you? That's the only thing you had to do and you couldn't even do it right. Wait a minute. This is my bunk bed. This room is only for two people. Why are there three of us in here? Sir, I'm really sorry about that. What do you want me to do now? Take it back! Take it back? Take it back! But she's psychotic. She might hurt That's me. That's your problem. Just get it back. <laughs> get it back! You're just so incompetent. Yes, sir. Actually, ma'am, my mother has her own room below deck. She just took me to this room. Right, Mom? Yes, son. If I see her sleeping here, I will report you. No, ma'am, she won't sleep in here. In fact, we won't sleep until we get to the city. So you can just relax. Charity! <laughs> Candy? Is that you? Charity! <laughs> sir? Yes, sir. I want you to order a bigger bouquet for Carol, okay? okay? It should okay. be much bigger than the one I was okay, supposed to I send. Really bigger, big, you got really it? Big. Make sure okay, to get sir. it today. I got so it. So who are you sending it to? To Carol. 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 Carol? No. Oh. <laughs> and tell Candy yes, that sir. I don't care about her. She can throw away those flowers. She can burn them. I don't care. Throw them, okay. Tell her it was and a mistake. burn them. He doesn't care about you. Boo boy? Boo boy? Mm. What? Why are we sleeping? Are we in the city now? Isabel! We are still ours away from the city! Just sleep over there! What if that woman wakes up and gets mad at us? I'll handle her! What will you do? I'll slap her! Just sleep and stop thinking about your prince, okay?
Did the fax come through yet? It hasn't yet, sir. Hmm. Uh, sir, aren't we going home or at least having dinner? Why? Sir, I'm just concerned about you. You look so tired. <laughs> More tired than we are. <laughs> Why, didn't you have a long vacation? Um, uh, no one leaves until I say so. Sir, yes, sir. I wasn't thinking of my prince this time, Boo Boy. I was thinking of my mother and Bukhanding. Bukhanding? Is that another guy? And I thought you were faithful. Of course I am. Hmm. Mermaids are the most faithful lovers you will find. We only have one true love for the rest of our lives. Fredo! Good thing you're still here. Betty. Mm. I need you to come with me to this art gallery I'm going to. Don't you see, Betty? I'm still working. I'm busy. Okay? <sighs> In fact, I have to stay here all night. Fredo, please don't be antisocial. You know you have to show yourself once in a while. You should make yourself visible to the rest of the world. Nonsense. I want you to tell me the truth. Huh? That thing you told me. That you're a mermaid. Isn't that just a myth? It's not true, right? I mean, you don't even look like a mermaid. From what I heard, they say that mermaids are beautiful. Isn't modeling and doing commercials enough of an exposure? <laughs> Fredo, that's not what I mean. You have to be visible to the business community. Do you remember where you met Muhammad Tutula Daj? <laughs> Please, babe, come with me. Have Biddy and your secretary let him go home. Can't you see he looks so stressed out already? But this is not how I used to look like. They told me that I'm the prettiest mermaid in the kingdom of Serenea. I don't know how I'm going to explain to you how my face became like this. Fine then. I believe that you're a mermaid. I know. Just delegate all the work you have to do to him. Then just check it in the morning. Come on, babe. Come with me. I already bought tickets. You really won't take no for an answer, would you? <laughs> and mm -hmm. I always get what I want. Hmm? Don't ever tell the story to the humans, okay? Because they might think that you're off your rocker. You know, not right in the head. I don't care what other people will think about my story. The only thing that matters to me is to find Fredo and my real mother. <laughs> Tell you what. You can call it a day. But all my things, bring them home. Let's go. Oh, um, okay, sir. Is my jacket here? Yes, sir. Let me get it. The truth is, Boo Boy, I am very nervous for the day that I will meet Fredo because he might not like me. I hope she doesn't come back. Yeah. Follow me. There's a stowaway inside. Who is this kid? Uh, I'm her son. Yes, he's my son. Someone complained that there is a stowaway in here. Oh, that's not us, sir. We have a ticket. That's right, we have a ticket. Uh-huh. Let me see it then.
Do you like the painting, sir? It hasn't been priced yet. It's by Vanessa Ugarte. Welcome to my home sweet home. You are my 1,101st visitor. What can I do for you, Janga? That's Queen Janga. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I almost forgot. It's because we haven't seen each other for a while. What brings you here? Is there a problem in the kingdom of Serenea? The ticket, son. What? Ticket? It's with you. Hmm? Why does your face look like that? What happened to you? It just ditched one day, sir. She scratched it. Then, suddenly, those scars appeared. I want this painting. Okay. Is it your birthday? Happy birthday! How old are you again? Is that contagious? Oh, it is. <gasps> I think I got it on my face, too. It's itchy. I didn't come here, Amafura, to play games with you. I am here because you broke a law of the kingdom. The tickets, hurry up. It's so itchy. Ticket, here. Law? And who says I was ever a loyal citizen of a kingdom, of a mermaid, who pretends to be the queen of Serenea? This is just one ticket. You are stowaways. Yes, we are stowaways. Mother! Ah! 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 Come on, Mother! Ah! Tell the truth, Amafura. Who is this mermaid that you granted legs to? Who is this good-for-nothing traitor who came to you and asked to be turned into a human? Tell me! Come back here! Stowaways, catch them! Mafura. Who is the mermaid that you turned into a human? Oh, my heart is beating faster! Hey! 
I think you're forgetting something, Your Highness. That this is my territory. And you have absolutely no right to set foot here. So get out of here! Get out! Out! Amafura, if you don't want to cooperate. Very well. I will show you the punishment that awaits anyone who dares to disrespect me and my kingdom! You have no right to be here! All of Serenea is under my supreme power! Including you! I'm a fool! Ah! Suffer for your disobedience! Ah! Fredo? Where will you put that painting? Why you had to choose that particular painting? Fredo! My heart is beating faster! Isabel! Fredo! Isabel! <laughs> Fredo! Because I am the one who bought the painting. Don't ever come back here, or I will have you arrested. Get lost! Okay, go away! Scram! Leave! I made a deposit for that painting. That woman even gave me a receipt. Well, I paid for it in full, and that makes it mine. But I want to be with Fredo. It's a good thing you didn't fall from there. Hey, miss! Are you okay? Why did you go up there? I need to get up there. Please help me. I need to be with Fredo. He's my oh, prince charming. You can't go back up there. It's dangerous. You're lucky you didn't fall the first time. Fine. You can have the painting. It's useless dealing with unreasonable people. What did you say? Fredo! <coughs> Do something! They're fighting! Go security! security. But I really have to go to Prince Fredo. Well, I need to wait talk a minute. to him. You can't go up there. Who is hey. this Prince Fredo anyway? There's no one there. It's just a billboard. You mean there's no one there? Yes, that's right. But that's my Prince Fredo. No one is up there. I think you better leave now. Those security guys already warned you. They might call the police next time, you know. <laughs> Fredo! <laughs> Sure, that's enough. Your hand... What a big jerk. I'm fine. Go on, just leave. And wait a minute, why are you dressed like that? You okay? Well, where are you from? Um, I'm from White Rock, ma'am. Isabel and I came here to the city together. Oh, dear. So that means that you're both new here in town. Where are you staying then? Uh, we haven't thought about that yet. We know Prince Fredo lives here. You have to help us. Who is that prince you're talking about? Uh, do you have a contact number or an address? What is that? An address. You know, where he lives. And do you know how to get there and where you're going to get your ride? Um, uh, we don't even have money to get a ride. Oh dear, you guys. Life is hard here in the city. You can't trust anyone. You might get into trouble. I think it would be better if you two just come with me. Are we going to my Prince Fredo? Just come with me. We're going to my house. Come on. Really? Thank I you so much. I can't leave you out here. What if I just destroy those things? No! No! If you don't want me to destroy your lair and all those jars, tell me now, Amafura, who is this mermaid that you've given legs to? Jeff! 
Stop the bell! She is the mermaid who I granted life. All right? I was right after all. It is Jezebel! I wonder where Jezebel is right now. I bet she's doing what she said she would, looking for Lucia and Fredo. <laughs> hey, isn't it a bit early for Halloween? Trick or treat! This is our house. <laughs> Be careful! Melba! You adopted someone again? <laughs> oh, wait. Why does she look like that? This is Isabel and Boo Boy. <sighs> okay, you two can wash your feet now before you enter the I house. I will just be here outside. Sure, okay. Wow! Water! Where is this coming from? How is this possible? Why? Don't you have a faucet in your hometown? Uh, what we have is a well. We get water from a well. <sighs> Go on, wash your oh feet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Are you both done? You can come in now. Where did it go? Yeah, it's gone. Come on. Leave that alone. Oh, boy, that was magical. Your wound has four stitches. How long will it take to heal? I need my right hand to write and sign papers, you know. If you like, I can just visit you every day at your office to apply cream on this wound of yours. It'll heal faster that way. I will take care of you any time. Sure, why not? Hi, babe. Hi, How's babe. your hand? There, they gave me four stitches. Are we okay? Mm. Oh, you got the suit? Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me. Boo boy! Help! Help me out of here! To Her Royal Highness, Queen Lucia! Greetings, Your Majesty! Fair greetings to you all. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please help! What's going on in there? Sir, somebody's stuck inside. The elevators have been acting up since yesterday. Since yesterday? Why haven't you done anything? Go call maintenance. Yes, sir. All right. Help me! Miss? Are you talking to me? Yes, you. Okay. Are you all right in there? Help me, please open these doors! Miss, listen to me. We're having elevator problems right now, so just relax in there. And maintenance will get you out. Okay? You just have to relax. You have to stay calm. Just get me out! They'll get you out. They'll be here soon. Keep relaxed for now. Stay calm. <sighs> I hope you're not claustrophobic.